Hello student, welcome to our channel, The Physics Point. And in the previous three lectures, we are just discuss the applications of Gauss law. In the application of Gauss law, we are find the electric field intensity with the charged object having the different shape. That is pure charged object and one another. That is wire and plane, infinite plane. These three object we are taken. These are charged object and find the electric. Uh, Field intensity in that object. They are uniformly charge distributed. And in this lecture, we have started discussions of electric potential and potential energy of the electrostatic or electrostatic potential energies. The electric potential, it means the electrostatic potential or electric potential, it means the work done against the electrostatic force. The work done. Work done against work done against the electrostatic force it is the work done against the electrostatic force to achieve to achieve certain configurations to achieve certain configurations of that charge to achieve certain configuration of charge in that system this is the uh, definition or meaning of the electric potential electric potential or electrostatic potential the work done against the electrostatic force by the charges to achieve that charges in the certain configuration in that given system the electrostatic it means whenever we study the gravitations the gravitational potential that is u is equal to z m divided by r this is the definition or this is the formula to finding the gravitational potentials the potential it means the work done the electrostatic potential it means the work done against the electrostatic force against the electrostatic force to achieve the certain configurations of that charges in that system we know that we are studied in the previous years when study the same topic that is electrostatic the like charges are repels to each other if the both charges are same it means the both are maybe positive charge or maybe negative charge if both charges will be likes they are repels to each other then force between them they are repulsive force the force between these are acting one of the line joining between these and this force is repelled to each other when the charges are unlike it means one is positive another one is negative charges and the force of attraction between them or sorry electrostatic force between them is attractive force we know that and the charge is one charge is always exerted force on another charges their corresponding charges within the range within the electrostatic range or within the vacancies the one charges is always acting some forces on another charges exerted force on another charges then work is always done work is always done to move the charges the work is always done to move the charges in that field then work is always done to move the charges if the electro charge electrostatic charge or this charges is the displaced if the force of attraction in between these different charges, the force of repulsion, these charges is repelled and they place or they travel certain displacement that is dr. Then the force is always, or sorry, the work done is always necessary to bringing the electric potentials. Consider a positive charge. This is our positive charge, and we want to bring in another one positive charges in that field. We must have or it must necessary to the work done. 
to bring another charge to bring the another charge it is necessary necessary to work then it is necessary to work then then the change electric potentials the change in the electric potential that is du is equal to force between electrostatic force between these two charges into the displacement of that charges consider this is the positive charges and we bound or brought the another one positive charges if then the electric potential in between these two charges change in electric potential if this charges is displaced certain distance that is dr and the electrostatic force that is f P. This is the F P is the electrostatic force of attraction or force of repulsion between these two charges. Then the change in electric potential is equal to the force, electrostatic force into displacement of the certain charges. Then next, now we want to find the electrostatic potential energy, expressions of the electrostatic potential energy in the expression of electrostatic potential energies electrostatic potential energy to find the electrostatic potential energy the electrostatic potential energy it is means the work done against the electric forces to achieve the certain configurations of a charge in that system in the system if the work is always done whenever we are moving some certain charges then the positive and positive charges are repelled to each other positive and negative charges are attracted to it, each other it means the like charges are repelled to each other and unlike charges is attract to each other to bring another charges we taken one of the positive charge consider a positive charge to bring the another charges in that force range then it is necessary to work is done then the change in potential energy is equal to the work done this is the formula force into displacement is the formula of work done and this is the potential energy change in potential energy or change in electric potential then in this lectures we are in that times we are fine to electrostatic potential energy expression of electrostatic potential energy consider the electrostatic consider the electric field due to the charge cdr it means consider electric field consider a electric field due to plus q that is positive charge Due to plus q charges is a placed is a placed at origin. The plus q charges is placed at the origins. And another the small charges, another small charges that is q zero, small q zero is a placed placed at point that is caps A. I want to draw a diagram here. All explanations of the expression of electrostatic potential energies. Then these charges will be moved. These charges is moved. The small charges plus uh, the small charges that is Q0 is uh, moved. A to D. Then the distance between them R1 and R2 between origin to A and B respectively. A and B respectively. 
this is considered a origin that is O, and in that place of origin, we are situated or we are considered the plus Q, plus cap skewed charge is situated at the origin. One another charge that is small Q0, one another charge is small Q0 is placed here. That is a small place Q0 is placed here, and this is known as a point A. I will be joining the line between these two charges. Okay. And it is said that a small charge is placed at a point A, and this small charge is a move A to B. Where is A? Where is a B? This is a point. A. Sorry, this is point A, B. It means this charge is moving in these directions. This charge is moves in the opposite directions of force acting, electrostatic force acting between them. Then, the distance between the origin to A, that is, the distance R1 is between origin to point A. This is the distance R1. And the distance R2 between the origin to the point B. This is the R2. This is the R1. R1 is the distance between the origin to the point A. R2 is the distance between the origin to the point B. This small charge is displaced at a certain distance. That is like this. Is called as smallest distance TR. The charges Q0 is displaced at a smallest distance that is BR. Then we want to find the work done. We want to find the work done against the electrostatic force. We want to find the work done against the electrostatic force. That is CW is equal to minus Fe. Why we are taking the minus here? Because the electrostatic force is acting in this direction and the charge is moving opposite directions. Then the dr is the smallest displacement of that charge. Or the work done is also equal. I already said in the whenever we discuss the electric potential, work done is also equal to the change in electric potential that means d work done is also equal to the change in electric potential and this is the minus f of e into dr what is the f of e f of e is the electro electrostatic force f of e is the electrostatic force by the coulomb's law by the Coulomb's law, that is F of A, F of E is equal to force of attraction. Coulomb's law is state that the force of attraction or force of repulsion between the two charges is directly proportional to the charges, directly proportional to the charges and inversely proportional to the distance between these two charges and the force is always acting to the straight line joining between these two charges. Then, 1 upon 4 by epsilon 0, this is the constant of electrostatic. This is the constant of Coulomb's law or constant of electrostatic. It means the capital Q is one charge S and Q0 is another one charge S. Capital Q, caps Q is one charge S and small Q0 is another charge S. And the distance between them is R square and R cap. Then this whole F of E, the value of electrostatic force is the substitute. The value of electrostatic force is substitute in the equation number, not a ticket number, equation star. Then the du is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into caps Q small q is R square into the R cap T R bar. This is the electrostatic force of attraction or electrostatic force of repulsion. Then
and the how was it gets disturbed in here okay more day more more by some time we in a few time we are again again finish the lectures almost to finish then we want to finding the whole electric potentials not taking the smallest electric potential we take integration that is du integrating form r1 to r integration from the r1 to r2 is also is equal to that is integration of r1 to r2 that is f of e dr again that is equal to r1 to r2 we know that Minus one upon four pi epsilon zero into this cap q small q r square to r cap dr. Then these charges will be displaced from the r two to r one. Then how this whole are taking capital. This whole are taking constant. They are outside. That is du, not a du. It is u is equal to one upon minus upon four pi epsilon zero into cap q small q integration of r one to r two. This minus sign is taking inside dr. The integration of one upon r square. If we are taking the differentiation of one upon r is equal to one upon r square. Then the integrations of one upon r square is one upon r. Then u is equal to minus. We are, are now taking the minus outside. That is cap q small q zero, four pi epsilon zero into applying the limits. That is one upon r one minus one upon r two. This is the Electric potential energy, electrostatic potential energy. We want to find it with the help of Coulomb's law. How they are finding? Consider one of the positive charges, or consider the electric field due to the positive charges plus Q. Their plus Q, capital Q, is situated at the origin, and we taking one another small charges. That is small Q zero. They are also situated on another point. That is. Point A and these small charges is the displacement from point A to the point B, and the distance between the origin to the point A is R one, origin to the point B is R two. Then the force, the both are positive charges. Then force of repulsion, electrostatic force of repulsion is equal to this. With the you want to finding the. Repulsive force or electrostatic repulsive force with the help of Coulomb's law. Then the work done, work done against the electric force, against the electrostatic force is the, with the help of displaced charges. Charges will be displaced at the smallest distance that is dr. Then du is equal to minus f of e into dr. Why we taken the minus sign because The electric force or electrostatic force and displacement of that charges is both are in opposite directions. We know the electrostatic force when we know the Coulomb's law. By applying the Coulomb's law, electrostatic force of attraction or electrostatic force of repulsion between the two charges is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. And this force is always acting straight line joining between these two charges. Then this value is substituted in the equation star, and we get this is final equation with the help of integration or the properties of integrations. In the next lectures, we are again try to discussions in the deep of electric potential and potential energy, the units of electric potential as well as certain expressions. Okay, we are stopping.